Hello everyone, today's video is all about tax, interest and penalties. So, uh, an announcement in the recent budget which basically flew under the radar, no one paid much attention to it, but it will have a big impact on taxpayers, specifically those who file self-assessment tax returns and also those who file VAT returns. So it's going to affect millions of people. Now, what they're trying to do is basically align the penalty and interest regime across both VAT and income tax, because currently there are there is a mismatch. And um, so let's just have a look at the the um, the proposal. So currently, if you submit your uh, tax return, let's take your tax return, you submit it late, then there's a combination of a flat rate. Uh, penalty, £100 that kicks in if it's a day late, and then if it's a, if it's later after a, a month or three months or six months, the penalty goes up. And then the worst case scenario is that it's tax geared up to 5% of the tax owed. So let's say, let's say um, you have your tax return that is months, six months late, but you paid your tax on time, the penalty just for getting the return in is uh, 5% of whatever the, the tax that was owed that you paid on time. So it's it's quite a harsh penalty is the penalty for getting your tax return uh, late. Now, what they're proposing is to replace this with a points-based system so that um, you are late and you get a point and then you're late again and you get another point and the penalty will be around will be based on these points that you accrue in a in a set period. Uh, it's going to be over a two-year period and then the slate is wiped clean after two years uh, and then you, you start accumulating points again if you are late again. So late submission going to a points-based system. What about late payment? So currently if you pay your, uh, your self-assessment late, interest accrues from day one as soon as it's, it's late uh, and then after a while... Uh, again, there's a percentage of the, the tax that's due um, that will be um, incurred as a, as a penalty. So what the new proposals say is that for late payment of, of tax, remember this is, this is uh, income tax and VAT, there will be no penalty if it's up to 15 days late. 2% penalty of the tax due if it's late between 16 and 30 days after the due date and then if there's a uh, an amount outstanding after 30 days past the due date four percent of that amount will be the penalty but also there'll be a second element of the penalty which starts to accrue after 31 days and that will be another four percent but that's on a per annum basis and it starts to accrue from from uh, day 31 so if you are 31 days late straight away 4% penalty plus the potential to start accruing this additional 4 but it works on a daily basis. So it's you're going to have to be like over a year late uh, before you pay 8%. So, and in the proposals that the government has, has um, released, they said, look, the best thing to do when you get into the position of being late, just call up HMRC and arrange a time to pay arrangement. Now, thousands, uh, hundreds of thousands of these arrangements have been in place since the start of the pandemic, people struggling to pay uh, the tax obligations. So HMRC are now saying, as part of the um, the new um, overhaul of the, the, of the rules going forward, you know, do get in touch with them if you are struggling. If you particularly get to that thirty day stage, and then they will they will do a deal to spread your payment over a certain time. And crucially, when you do the deal with them, it avoids the penalty. So it's a no-brainer, really. If you are late, um, organise a time-to-pay arrangement, TTP, with HMRC, and avoid the penalty. So what about interest? So again, they want to try and harmonise the interest regime, uh, particularly aligning the VAT interest regime with that of the self-assessment, which is basically the interest starts from the day after the tax is due. So the aim of all this is basically to um, simplify and make the system more fair and effective, in HMRC's words. Um, because currently, there's, there's inconsistencies across the taxes. Basically means HMRC is penalising the same behaviour in different ways. 
So currently, if you're um, a certain period late with a return to be submitted or a payment in the VAT compared to the income tax, there's a totally different um, methodology for um, for the penalty on that. Um, and HMRC is saying, well, look, that's not particularly fair, although <laughs> it's not fair. But when you look at the costings and the whole budget um, has been costed out, they reckon this will bring in about... 155 million a year from about 2025. So this is a net revenue raising exercise. So all this talk about making things simpler and fairer and everything else, yes, but it's going to bring in an extra 155 million to the treasury. Um, and I suspect the element where it will raise the most. I think. I think in terms of when you break it down, having the having the late submission penalty based on a point system is is good from a taxpayer's perspective i think because some of these penalties like that five percent of the tax on late submission of the paperwork even though the tax was due that was pretty harsh now to move on to a points based i suspect that will um uh, not bring in revenue uh, for hmrc the one area that it will increase the treasury's coffers will be on the late payments Penalties. The fact that we're switching to this um, this two uh, percent, um, four percent, then another four percent accruing after thirty one days. I think that's the one in all of this where they're going to be raising this most of this hundred and fifty five million a year, which they've costed out. So when do, does all this come in? Well, it comes in for VAT from April twenty twenty two, and it comes in for income tax for those people doing self assessment from. April 2023. So that's just an overview on the new uh, proposals to harmonise the the penalties and the interest for late submission, late payment of both VAT and income tax. If you like this video, please do subscribe right there and I will see you soon.